Good morning folks, there's been a lot of snow in Scotland over the last couple of days but you don't get much of it falling down here at the coast so today we are going to head inland up into the hills in fact we're going to go to the UK's highest main road at Spittle of Glenshee and we'll see what the weather's like up there one thing's for sure though, you don't get much light in the sky at this time of year so we'd better get moving we've got the big boots on for this one No, this could be a complete disaster. We're about half an hour into our drive, half an hour? Half an hour. We've just passed Forfur, and I can see some hills off in the distance, but there's no snow on them. There's maybe a light dusting of ice and sugar, but no more than that. We'll keep going though, see how we get on. This little village is called Blair Gowrie and Rattray. I've never been here before, I don't think. I was. Never heard of it. Have I you been here? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, so there is a bit less snow than we expected today. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> but the road is really nice anyway. Bridge of Cali. Left onto the A924. These are all places I've never heard of. Right, we're now on the A93 and this is the road that will eventually become the highest road in the UK when we get a bit more elevation and get up towards Glenshee. We're only about an hour inland from Montrose, so just an hour from home, it's not too bad. The scene is very different, but it's not quite the wintry scene that we were expecting. Not yet, anyway. Oh, I love this road. decided that the light's quite nice, so we're going to fit the, the GoPro to the windscreen. Professional job here. <laughs> Solid. Famous last words. Now I know there's those of you that have proper winters, will just be laughing at this. But for those of you that are in the southern hemisphere summer at the moment, hopefully this is a bit of air conditioning for you. But either way, I don't think you can deny it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is fantastic and in fact the big hill in front of us I get a feeling that that's actually a Monroe but it's one of the easiest Monroes to summit because you can just park at Glenshee Ski Centre uh -huh. and then you only have about 280 meters oh, to good. get to the top although I still wouldn't do it in the snow in winter because we don't have the proper equipment we don't have crampons or ice axes stuff like that and even for a walk so small I'd still feel a lot safer you know if we had the proper equipment yeah it doesn't look easy now
Okay, we've arrived up at Glen Shee at the highest point and we've got all the ski centre behind us there. We're thinking maybe to go for a wee cup of tea, but at the same time, when we were coming up the road there, the view going the other way looked even better. So I think we should maybe go back and record that just now, yeah, just while we know we've got a bit of weather. Although it started to snow, I'm not quite sure how much visibility we've got left. Let's go and give it a shot. Let's try. Wow, is this just not the most beautiful setting? And there's not even that much snow, but I think it's the light that makes it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And to have this so close to home, we are so lucky. You chose the right footwear today. <laughs> That's a lot of snow for Scotland. <laughs> Very dramatic weather. Beautiful. <laughs> right, let's go and get a cup of tea. Yes, please. Warm up a bit. Aye, so we came a couple of miles back down the road and as you can see here the weather's completely different it's almost clear and you can also see we've got the snow gates so when the weather does close in these will swing across and that's your road closed Aye, and believe me it's not unusual for this road to close so if you are coming up here in winter always be sure to check the traffic reports before you leave home Let's oh, no. go. <laughs> Here we are at the wee cafe at Glen Shee. Now I don't know much about skiing, but I think the conditions look great, but it's completely empty. Nobody here at all. We should ask. Maybe we should have like slice of chocolate cake and share it. I don't know. There's a crazy much. idea. Or I know sharing is a crazy idea. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? There's enough cakes you can have one each. <laughs> You're certainly dressed for the season. Aye, this is a cracking wee cafe up here, so friendly and quite cheap as well. It could be so expensive oh, at the top yeah. of a mountain, you know. Mm -hmm. And I have got Clutey Dumpling. I don't think I've had Clutey Dumpling since my gran gave me it when I was a kid. I really like them, but I went for something sweet. This is seriously the first time I've had this for years. Mm. That's really nice. Good. This place is giving me the vibe like those Christmas movies. You know yeah. what I mean? Like skiing resort and you have hot chocolate and it's just so lovely. And What's going to happen next? We'll fill out. 
but then we'll come back together at the end of the movie. <laughs> I'm Scottish and I don't even know what's in Cody Dumplin. By the looks of it, a bit of everything. That place is so good. And what do we know about skiing? The guy was saying there's just not enough snow at the moment, which is a shame, but he was saying down this way, they are making some snow at the moment. And unfortunately, that's what you've got to do in Scotland. You've got to make your snow. I'm always hoping so much to get a good season because skiing in Scotland can be a bit... Unpredictable? Unpredictable. <laughs> That's the word. Oh. There was one more! Right, we're going up this pathetic wee hill. This is our Monroe for today. We're not going any further than this. It's actually quite difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the camera to make it look really steep. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. I'm out of breath already. Yeah, me too. Wish they'd open that chairlift just for us. Oh, is that where they are making a snow? Snow factory. Snow factory, that's cool. Now we have a challenge to learn skiing till the next season. These little buttons, these are the ones that I could never do. Why? I never tried. I don't know, I'd just always be falling off them. But then what if you fall in the middle of the... You just have to ski down and look stupid. Keep the camera rolling, she's going to fall. <laughs> if we frame this properly, we could make it look like we're in the middle of nowhere. Well, we're actually 50 meters from the car park. Yeah. If you'd be an Instagrammer, that's what you would do. Like winter wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> Look what we found. Fox? I think it will be a fox. Right, we'll get back in the van and go driving a wee bit further down the other side of Glen Shee. It's funny because it feels like we've only just started about an hour ago and it'll be dark soon. Good workout. Yes. <laughs> we walked about... 200 meters. <laughs> <laughs>
birds. Well, that was a lot of fun today and the sun is starting to go down already. But we've thought, we're enjoying it so much, why don't we stay overnight somewhere? So we're going to search on booking.com, find a wee bed and breakfast or something in the area, mm -hmm. stay overnight and then we will go for a walk tomorrow. Does that sound good? Yeah, we'll see what's weather like tomorrow. Get searching. Okie dokie. It's funny how we are just a bit lower, but the landscape looks so much different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, we found a wee place, it's called Strathardo Lodge, I think that's what it was. And we're heading to a wee village shop here, get some supplies, because we're going to be checking in at about three o'clock. It's going to be a long night. I think this is us. Ah, that's oh, nice. fancy. Oh, it looks so cosy inside. Guest house and cake school. Hey, this looks really nice. It does. I'm glad we didn't decide to sleep in the van tonight. Eh? Too cold. We're getting soft. I checked the weather forecast. It says it will be snowing tonight. Ooh. How cozy is this? Look. What a lovely <gasps> place. I can see the fire. Right, you walk in with your little bag. Hello, hello, hello. Good. Yeah, just come in. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's so cozy here. Oh, you like it? It's nice. Oh, it's nice. oh, a wee bar. That's Amazing. Really, uh, very bar. excited. Yeah. <laughs> it's a self service bar as well, so even better. How nice is this? We were very lucky, eh? Yeah? I tell you what, we've really landed on our feet here. This place is incredible. Downstairs is like a little shared lounge that we can use and there's also a self-serve bar, like an honesty bar. So we'll be down there later on. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. Look at the deer. They said you have the deer coming just there where the path is. So maybe we'll spot some deer tonight. Oh, do you know what that is? Locker. Guess what it's for? Guns. It's a gun locker. And I guess you put your ammunition on the top mm. and your really? guns in there. Yep. I guess that's from Hunters? when this would have been a hunting lodge or something. I've never seen gun locker in the bathroom. I mean, I've never seen gun locker in general, yeah. but especially when <laughs> it's like a, in the like you have in your room, isn't it? Oh, this is just fantastic. I love it. It's very cozy and it is. warm. And it's good because I normally take you to like a travel lodge or something, you know? It's true. But I don't mind. Good. Upstairs they have like this big shared living room with fire, um, Christmas tree and nice wooden tables. I will take you down for a look. I think we'll be more than comfortable. Good evening, sir. What have you got? What do you recommend? I have lots of alcohol um, in the bottles. I have single malt whiskey, Bombay Sapphire. Man, this is the worst bar service I've ever had. I'm doing my best here. Can I have a gin and tonic, please? Um, yes, of course you can. Full measure, please. Right to the top. Ah, ta -ta -ta -ta. Do you have a wee bit of lemon for that, maybe? Well, I have macaroni and cheese. So when did you start working here? Well, like four minutes ago. Sorry, the Christmas songs are great, but this is not good for YouTube strikes. Oh, no. 
How'd you switch it off? Well, I guess this video is going to be going out on the 24th of December. That's a Saturday, isn't it? So we should say Merry Christmas. What a perfect place to be for it. Cheers, guys. All the best. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Cheers. And that's the reality. She's on a stool. Hey, that was too short. <laughs> Hello! Yes, you have all the attention now. Okay, according to this book, right? Yeah. There's one place in Scotland you have to see before you die. What is it? Glencoe. Yeah. No. Edinburgh? Mm -hmm. Loch Ness? No. Edinburgh Castle? Not Edinburgh Castle, but the castle. Stirling Castle. Not Stirling Castle? Oh, Elon Doran Castle. Yes. Look at this lonely guy. What time did you finish? <sighs> Morning. Morning. Any deer? No deer. No deer. No deer, my dear. Oh dear. I'll tell you what, this is a breakfast and a half. We're going to switch off now and we'll get to work. Ah, what a fantastic place that was, and the only review we need to give it is that we want to come back for a week. Yeah, I don't want to go back, I want to stay here. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> to the van. Oh. One knife is not enough. Ah, that's a cool place, isn't it? It's a great place. It's all over. Oh, that was a big breakfast. So we're gonna have to go for a wee walk now just to work it off a bit. This isn't easy, this life, you know. She's never happier than in the trees. Okay, so after about half an hour of walking, we're officially lost up here. No idea where we are, so we'll just have to stay here now. Build a wee home, a log cabin. And I think all we need to say now is Merry Christmas, folks. Merry Christmas. I can't remember, did we say that last night? Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.